It's so fun. We love it. My name is Samia Vanderkolf, and I'm the movement supervisor for the Blue Club. Right away, the first thing that I'm just reminded of is that we're not wearing blue, <laughs> which was an exciting time. I had this trippy dream where this cat was driving me around in an old convertible. Later on, it turned into a VW van, and near the end, it was more like this spaceship kind of thing. <sighs> we're high up looking over the road. All right, so... But the front console was shaped like a van. I'm just laughing and smiling because <laughs> trying to figure out this whole beginning with Lance and our um, Brassa Lewis name, Aaron. Aaron Owens. Aaron. So I think they ended up having a whole narrative where <laughs> Aaron was his Uber driver coming to pick him up and Lance would get in and they had a whole scene where it was like, hey, it's hot, can you open the window? Oh yeah, sure. He would crank down the window, he would mess with the radio, some guy would cut him off, he would honk his horn. So there was a whole scene that they had to picture. So this is the first time that we see sort of our dance line independent of the rest of the color guard um, for a long period of time. And it's this sort of intense, maybe aggressive feeling song. Again, there's this sort of this shaping of our axles making a vehicle with the linear lines here. So a lot of the song feels and sounds kind of pompous at times, but also aggressive. Oh, we're getting to the big moment. Okay, so everything's starting to build here, and I remember working with... <laughs> okay, so I, I want to have to go back to you for this yeah. one. So the Axle Dancers is what we called them on the 40, on side two, was like an ever-growing project. Every right? day there was something to add and develop in. Yeah. Yeah, and... There were maybe, I think maybe like 11 dancers, something like that, but we were tasked with how do we make these inanimate objects look and feel more interesting. But I mean, it was literally just, can we just explore? Can you just, can anyone climb inside of it? We have them flipping over it. In a few seconds, we have um, one girl on the 40 and she's getting inside the axle um, like the Vitruvian man and the minute that we were like, can she actually go over? And we were like, yeah, she got it. Then it was a question of, okay, well, how many times can she rotate over? So I think she does like three full rotations going into um, the next hit. So she's actually, there she goes, Emily, mm -hmm. around and around and around. This mount's good too. It's so fun, we love it. <laughs> this song was so great because it hyped up the members as well and it was just really aggressive and love it. Okay, so here we have our actual dancers are now on our Cadillac bench and it's like this out of control driver experience. It's like she's gonna lose control of her vehicle. So there we go. Woo! Nice. All right. Blue. They always said, soldier boy, tell him. Here we go. I don't want to talk because I love this part of the show so much. We, I don't think we ever had to say a single thing to Ryan, really. Once he knew his blocking on his um, stoplights, he's just a phenomenal performer. So 
cool. That's such a great moment for all of them, just to be themselves and just acknowledge the audience and rock concert. It's just so great. Oh, what's the next song? <laughs> I really haven't watched this since DCI. Here it comes. This was a stressful part of a uh, tour. Was Okay, so the brass is this whole improvisation here. So basically we had to teach them how to improvise um, and then sort of scale it back so that it was appropriate improvisation. Okay, before we get to it, so there's the big run over and this was like the thing of, you know, it was like the thing. Obviously there's an element of excitement that comes with this. There's a big element of fear that comes with this because the way that this axle is running over the brass is uh, from the side view. So they're not facing the axle that's coming at them. So they have to rely on counts um, and each other. And they have to be very trusting that our um, guard members pushing the axle are going to push straight. Not only that, it was a really, really fast uh, tempo and they had to cover a lot of distance. So once those two guard soloists lined up that um, axle, there was like no stopping. They just had to go. Um, so Island actually had the brilliant idea. At first we had them, at first we had them kneeling. So they're on their hand with their leg out and they're playing sideways. Yeah. Ryan actually dropped, I think, into the splits on semifinals night. <laughs> he did not. That's awesome. Yay. Okay. Cool. I love it. I from sustain and... They were very on the same point in that, that's for sure. Nobody is mic'd at all. We're gonna have shotgun mics, just getting this wall to spin. Membership by this point is just super gassed. We'll run around all over the place. <laughs> 